Part 2, The Cartridge Map After getting the new cartridge, the next day, I opened up my PC. I prepared the cartridge I got from the place where the Super Mario World, the Lost World vendor was. The cartridge has a torn sticker with a note saying the cartridge map. Written in faded pentel pen dot I was planning to insert the cartridge so I can access it on my computer. Suddenly, my boss called me. I left the computer and the cartridge unplugged. My boss scolded me for being so sleepy at work. Blah blah blah, etc. I didn't listen to what he says. All that matters for now is about the cartridge vendor. After for almost 15 minutes of scolding, I went back to my desk. And I was surprised to see the cartridge inserted and my computer shut down. I immediately unplugged the cartridge and talked to my deskmate. Gary. Did you inserted this cartridge on my PC? What? Can you see what am I doing? I am doing what you should do. Get back to your work man. I ask others if they inserted the cartridge. But no one said yes. I returned to my PC and boot it up. My antivirus window appeared saying 1566 threats has been successfully quarantined and remove. Virus has been removed upon reboot. I checked the virus names, Salady virus, malware, etc. I run an immediate full system scan. No virus was in my PC. I downloaded a new firewall and update my antivirus and proceed to my work. The cartridge is still bothering me. After our lunch break, I return to my desk and activate all firewalls and antivirus. I plugged in the cartridge and I'm surprised to see plenty of virus. It was like 5k plus. I had a hard time plugging in and plugging out and plugging in again the cartridge. But at last, after for almost 8 reboots, I successfully cleaned up the cartridge. The next day, I went and finished my work early. I plugged in the cleaned cartridge and I'm surprised to see thousand of virus. This time, I didn't make any reboot. I checked what's inside the cartridge and I saw a ROM file, text file and an unexecutable robotics.rar file. I checked the text. It says that, copy the robotics.rar to the main ROM. It will jam connections and prevail hackers to see and edit the ROM. Please. Beware that after inserting the file, remove it quickly to prevent tormenting malware. Attack. S after reading this, I scanned the RAR file and found that it is a pushbit. I. Immediately delete that file and send to quarantine. I made a virus clean up then I reboot. My PC. After opening the ROM, I was surprised to see hundreds of games installed on the. ROM. The ROM has mixed games of Mario, Pokemon, Sonic, Barbie, and so on. In the far. End of the list, I saw a game named Cartridge Map. I opened that game. But actually. It's not a game. It's a map of the current city where I am now. It looks like a Google. Map. There are blue points and one red point. One of the blue points is the location where. The vendor was. It was like a motherboard. The path of electricity represents a road. Something like that. The red point is bit far from our office. The red point was almost. 3 to 5 miles away from ours. I planned to get to that point. I prepared myself. I went to the. Office the next few days to resume my job. After two weeks, I packed up and I went to the. Red point. I forgot the cartridge map on my desk. But fortunately, I have written down a. Small map on the back of my journal. I went to that location. But as I go near the red. Point I found something strange. I checked my phone and I saw that it has no signal. I. Checked my GPS and its battery is drained. I opened my palm top. But it doesn't making any. Response. All I can see with it is error connection 102. I continue walking. I made it. To a small, abandoned looking building. I went inside and I'm surprised to see horrific. Pictures on the wall. These pictures look like a head, a big white head smiling, with. 
circled eyes and no nose. I was not comfortable to see it so I went outside and I was shocked to see the cartridge vendor was behind me. I ran as quickly as I can. I stopped on a 7-Eleven store. I went inside and bought some hot dogs. I see on a vacant place near the window. While eating my food, I checked my phone, and I receive a new message, there's a little signal now. I went to my inbox to check it. An unknown number. He says, I'm watching over you. I click the exit button and keep my phone. I went up and consume my food. I look to the window and I'm surprised to see the cartridge vendor was now in the other road selling his old game cartridges. I ask the cashier if he knows the man selling old GBA cartridges. Here's what he says, do not ever talk to him. And do not ever talk about it. He's evil. He continued serving the man on my back. After turning around, it's the point that I noticed that the person behind me buying something on the cashier was the vendor of the game cartridges. I immediately turned again and talked to him. I said, Who are you? Hey I'm talking to you. Bring back my cartridge. People on the shop all turned quiet and look at us. Three of them looks like scared. The vendor turned his back and go to his stand. I went back to my house. I have some nightmares about the pictures I see. The next day, I checked out the new on the headlines. The headline was written in bold black and thick letters, Old Cartridge Vendor Man. Missing. I went immediately to the 7-Elevens and I asked the cashier about it. He doesn't reply. Whatever I ask. I went to my office. I know, boss would scold my because I'm late. But. This time, it's different. Everyone was rushing and looked like scared. Our boss talked to me. Saying, help us remove this plague. I ask my seatmate Gary on what happened. He says. One of our office mates, Leo, tried to insert the cartridge. He played the cartridge. After long hours of playing, he went to the CR. The other office mate found him dead on an office cabinet. Blood were spilled over the cabinet door. Behind the dead Leo is a message. Written with blood, give it back. After that, virus attacked the system violently and delete huge amount of data. I checked my PC and I was so surprised to see the picture of the cartridge vendor dead with all cartridges surrounding around him. I stole the cartridge map and went to the red point. I threw the cartridge inside the building and went away immediately. I saw a text message on my phone, thank you, from the similar unknown number. The next day, I checked the newspaper. I saw the cartridge man, dead with all cartridges spread all over around him. The cartridge map was staying on the top of his head. 12.45 noon, I got a new delivery. I was creeped out to see so many cartridges owned by the old cartridge vendor. I put them all to my warehouse.